Greninja. Hmm. Missed you in Sword and Shield. It's good to see you're back. And you brought some poison. Hmm. This seems like a job for a ninja Draco. I've been asking Draco for guidance on how to beat Greninja. And now it's my job to bestow that information upon you guys. Because this Terra event might just be the most difficult so far. Let's dive into it. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to the video. Hope you're all fired up and ready to go for Greninja the Unrivaled. And like I said during the intro, this is most likely going to be one of the more difficult terror raids, which is why I've come full prepared with all the information for you guys. Let's dive into it. So the main thing to take away from Greninja is that it is a water and a dark type, and the current terror type is poison. Now, it's also worth mentioning that it has potentially got three abilities, and Torrent, Protein, or Battle Bond. Most likely it's not going to have Torrent given what Cinderace and Charizard had before. Uh, it is possible it'll have Protein, uh, but that does absolutely nothing. But it is worth mentioning that it could have Battle Bond, which makes it turn into Ash Greninja. Yeah. And apparently Ash Greninja doesn't exist in this game, but it's probably worth talking about anyway. So from what we have here, Greninja seems to be a very fast Pokemon with 122 in base speed. And it's also worth mentioning that the defenses seem to be pretty low on this Pokemon. They're definitely a little bit more lower than the Cinderace. But at the same time, looking at the attack and the special attack stat, unlike the Cinderace and the Charizard before, Greninja is kind of balanced out. But of course the special attack is just that little bit better. I just want to go ahead and point this out there as well. Uh, the Battle Bond, if the Greninja did get a KO because that's how Battle Bond works, uh, its stats will then start to look a little bit like this. So yeah, Battle Bond, if it has the ability, we need to make sure that Greninja does not get a single kill. It is a very tough thing to do, but we do not want to fight a Greninja with these different types of stats because the speed the attack and the special attack are going to be a lot more tougher to deal with. Now, I did mention about physical and special. This is potentially the moveset that it's going to have. If we look on the physical side, we have Gunk Shot, Liquidation and Waterfall. We have Night Slash, Aerial Ace, Acrobatics, Brick Break and Sword Stance. Uh, Sword Stance is a move that will increase Greninja's attack stats. Now, the physical attack stats is probably worth remembering. Uh, but if you look on the special side, it doesn't really have a poison move, so it's going to have to rely on Terra Blast. Uh, it also gets access to Water Shuriken, which is the signature move, which is why I'm thinking that it could most likely be a special attacker, but a little bit more on that in just a second. It also gets access to Dark Pulse, Extra Sensory, Ice Beam, and quite a lot of water moves. Quite a lot of special water moves. Uh, water Pulse, uh, Surf, Hydro Pop, the list can just go on and on and on. Now, if there's one move that Greninja does have access to, and it's something that you need to be very careful about, it's Haze. If you were a part of the Cinderace Terra raid event last time, uh, you might be familiar with the slow bro one hit KO technique that we were doing uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, if Greninja gets access to Haze, it's most likely that one hit KO shenanigans that we do are most likely not going to work. Uh, because Haze basically removes all the stat changes that have happened. So all of us setting up with like Calm Mind or Sword Stance, Greninja will just say no to that. Now it's worth mentioning that if the Greninja is on the physical side, then it's most likely that it will not have Haze. Just because Greninja has access to Sword Stance, if it were to use Haze, it would be getting rid of its own buff. And I don't think Game Freak has that in mind. Okay, now let's start talking about Greninja's weaknesses and start analysing the best way and how to deal with it. Now, for those that do not know, poison types are weak to ground and psychic. Ground, psychic also have weaknesses to Greninja's original typing being water and dark. 
So this is definitely going to be one of the trickiest points because any super effective damage that we can potentially do is going to be countered by either water or dark and it's most likely that Greninja will have access to these moves. Now all things considered it's probably worth running ground and psychic as moves but also running different types of Pokemon to counter water, poison and dark. So you could have dragon to counter water, you could have fighting to counter dark, you could have poison to, ironically enough, counter the poison, uh, and also you've got steel. Steel will be completely immune to it, and this means that you're able to also use fairy on top of that. Now some other things that you can consider is ways on how to counter Greninja's offensive moves. So if Greninja is using a water move, you might want to consider using Sunny Day uh, or Drought uh, for the, the ability Drought. Uh, you can also use Storm Drain, which Gastrodon and Tatsugiri, even though I probably wouldn't recommend it, uh, they get access to uh, Storm Drain so they can get themselves even stronger. Uh, you've got Water Absorb and you've got Dry Skin. So if you're running low on HP and Greninja just wants to get a water attack into you, you can get a very nice uh, heal up there, which is good. I already talked about uh, Steel being completely immune to Poison. Uh, as for Greninja's Dark moves, um, can't think of anything. I don't even think there is anything to talk about in, in that department, but... Unless there's, uh, now that I think about it, this is actually just... Justified. Justified is an ability that increases your attack stat. So maybe bring a Lucario with Justified. That seems like it could be a potentially good idea to consider, guys. So I'm only just thinking about that just there just now. So so yeah, Justified. <laughs> Alright, let's start diving into what the best Pokemon are looking like. Now, one of the best Pokemon to bring is most likely going to be Garchomp. Garchomp is a ground type which is weak to water, but you've also got the dragon type in, which makes it being able to resist water. And Garchomp also gets access to Sword Stands, Earthquake, Stomping Tantrum. This is definitely one good Pokemon to consider. However, Greninja does get access to Ice moves, such as Ice Beam. If Greninja has access to Ice Beam, I highly recommend you do not bring Garchomp, but it's worth mentioning, we don't know if Greninja gets Ice Beam yet, but... I'd rather just put this on here because Garchomp is a really good one to consider. Up next, and probably in my opinion, the best Pokemon to bring for this event is Gallade. Gallade is a Psychic type, uh, which is weak to Dark. You might start to see a theme going here. Uh, it's a Psychic type that's weak to Dark, but the Fighting typing allows you to resist the damage. So basically Dark is only going to do neutral against Gallade. Gallade also has a brand new ability this generation in Sharpness, which increases the damage you deal with any blade cutting moves. Uh, a good example is Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut is a base 70 damage move, but with Sharpness as the ability, you can increase that 70 up to 105. And on top of that, Psycho Cut, I believe, has a higher chance to cause a critical hit, which could be very devastating. Especially when you pair it up with uh, moves such as Sword Stance. You can also run a support uh, Gallade as well. You can use Life Gear to keep your team healthy. You can go Light Screen, Reflect, just whatever Greninja is going to be running. You can even go Hypnosis, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. I think a, another pop would be better for the job. Uh, you've also got access to Mystical Fire uh, for a bit of disruption. Just to decrease Greninja's special attack stat if it is a special attacker. Honestly, Gallade is probably the best Pokemon to bring to this. Now, we talked about Garchomp and Gallade from the physical attacking side, but let's talk about a special attacking Pokemon in Fluttermane. Uh, this is definitely one to think about uh, running with another Pokemon that we'll talk about down the line. Um, this is another theme one. Uh, Fairy is weak to poison, but the Ghost is able to resist it, so you've got neutral and damage. Uh, the ability Protosynthesis... We'll talk more about that in just a brief moment. Uh, the best moves that you can go with is Calm Mind, Stored Power, uh, Psy Shock, Psy Beam, and Fake Tears. Now, I did talk about Haze uh, much earlier. If you were to stock up on the Calm Minds and Greninja has access to Haze, it's probably not the best thing to do. Uh, so if Greninja does have access to Haze, then I would probably recommend not running Fluttermane all the time. Especially when you look at its moveset. It's only got Psy Shock and Psy Beam, 
which is not the best psychic moves available. It does get access to stored power, which is really good when you combine it with Calm Mind. So this is definitely something to consider. You've also got access to fake tears as well. So Flutterman is definitely able to do some really good things here. You just need to find a good niche for it. So we've talked about three offensive Pokemon, but just offense alone is not going to be the best way to win, which is why we need to start working on some more defensive and support Pokemon. Uh, one of the best Pokemon that I would recommend is Chansey or Blissey. Uh, it gets the ability Healer, so if our Pokemon do get poisoned at any time, uh, Chansey has a good way of healing us up. It does get Light Screen, unfortunately it does not get Reflex, but I would only recommend bringing Chansey and Blissey if the Greninja is special. It's very important because Chansey and Blissey's physical side is not good at all. So only bring Chansey and Blissey if the Greninja is using moves such as Dark Pulse, Water Shuriken, just all the special types of moves. But in terms of the rest of the moves, it's got Life Dew to keep the team healthy, Help in Hand to provide offensive support to a team member. You can go Sunny Day, which weakens Greninja's water moves. Uh, you got Soft Boil to kind of look after itself even more. Um, held Items. I recommend using Light Clay if you're on Light Screen. Uh, you can also go Leftovers if you just want to keep yourself nice and healed up. You could also go Eviolite if you're running the Chansey. Up next, guys, I seem to have lost my keys. <laughs> because we have Clef Key. All right, so this is obviously Cheese Fisher's favorite Pokemon. Steel and Fairy. Now, I talked about before how Steel is immune to poison, so we can run Fairy here, which is good. The ability, the best one to bring, and I highly recommend you always bring it, is Prankster. Uh, this means that Klepki is able to use the moves that it's got first, as long as they're not offensive moves. Now, it does get access to Light Screen and Reflect, which is good. You can run a Calm Mind and Stored Power Set with Clef Keys, worth mentioning. Uh, you can set up Calm Minds, get six Calm Minds, use your Stored Power, and let all your teammates just use something like Acid Spray or Metal Sound, just any way of decreasing Greninja's special defense. Uh, coincidentally enough, Clef Key also gets access to Metal Sound, and if it's Water Moves you're worried about, then you've also got access to Sunny Day. Okay, up next we have a very cherry Pokemon in Gastrodon. We have a Water and Ground type. Once again, Ground type is uh, weak to water, but we have that Water type in. As if that weren't the reason to run Gastrodon, if you're familiar with the ability Storm Drain, then you will know exactly why that is. Storm Drain is an ability that when a Water move is used by anyone on the field, Gastrodon absorbs that water move and it increases the special attack stance. So this can pair really, really well with a move such as Earth Power. Um, I think Gastrodon has actually got like a kind of gimmicky set that I would really like to try in Miracle Counter Recover. Hear me out on this one, guys, because this is the fun one. If the Greninja attacks and you activate Miracle or Counter, you're going to be dealing double the damage back to Greninja. And then you've got access to Recover, so you can keep yourself nice and healthy while you deal the damage back to the Greninja. So it might be good, it might be too gimmicky, it might be bad overall, but it might be something worth trying. Uh, you've also got access to Yawn to put Greninja to sleep, and you've also got access to Mud Slap. Yes, you heard that right, Mud Slap. Decrease the accuracy of the Greninja. Make that Greninja not be able to hit anybody. Okay, up next is Claude Sire. Might be one of my brand new favorite Pokemon of all time. Look at that face! Look at it! <laughs> Unfortunately, I was too distracted by the face to go ahead and uh, deliver some of the best moves it has. Um, Claude Sire is poison and ground, so it does really good on the resistance side. It's also got access to water absorb as well. Um... So, some of its moves that I could have access to are Mud Slap to decrease accuracy, it gets access to Earthquake as well. There's some really good moves that Claude Sire has. I think it gets Acid Spray, I'll need to double check that, uh, which could be a good way of decreasing the special defense of Greninja. Now, I wanted to put Claude Sire on here because even though it's a very good Pokemon to do against Greninja, uh, Greninja could have access to Ice Beam that I may have mentioned earlier, and it will probably have access to Extra Sentry, which is a Psychic move. Ice is really good against ground, and Psychic is really good against Poison, so Clodsire might be a very good Pokemon to run because it is very bulky, but 
Greninja does have access to Ice and Psychic. It's probably not a good idea to run Claude Sire, but I gotta put it on here because you never know what Greninja's gonna be having and you're better to cover all available options. All right, up next we have Tinkaton. And it's got a big hammer. It's too bad it's not going to be swinging it as much in this one. Another Steel and Fairy type. Uh, the ability can be anything, whatever you want it to be. But the most important thing is in Scarismack. As far as I'm aware, Tinkaton is the only Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet that gets access to Scarismack. So Scarismack is a move that decreases the special attack stat of your opponent. If Greninja is a special attacker, then the best thing to do here would be to use Scarismack against it and just decrease the special attack. If Greninja is not a special attacker and it is on the physical side using stuff like Sword Stance, uh, it's probably best not to run. Uh, but probably best not to run Tinkaton. There may be a lot more better options, but let's not take away from the fact that it also gets access to Light Screen, Reflect, Fake Tears, and Help in Hand. It's a very good supportive Pokemon for sure. And oh man. We got one final Pokemon to recommend to you guys in Coridon. Finally, we get to have a Legendary on the team, potentially. I think me Raiden has had a couple of showcases, which has been good. Now it's Coridon's turn. So Coridon is a fighting and dragon, but the ability is what makes it phenomenal in Oracalcum Pulse. This immediately sets up the field with the sun. This can pair really, really well with Fluttermane and increasing whatever stat it needs to. Uh, but Karadin gets access to so many good moves. There's Sword Stance, Stomping Tantrum, and Zed Headbutt, which do good against the Poison. It also gets access to Screech to support the team. It gets access to Help in Hand to increase the damage of any teammate. And Sunny Day, just in case you're a little bit worried about the sun just uh, running out. And you can give it any held item, but Expert Bell is probably the safest one to give it. Um... But yeah, I quite like Coridon. We haven't been able to use Coridon in the past with Charizard and Cinderace because the sun supports them. But this time, the sun is going to help us. The only bad thing about Coridon is that just like the Claude Sire, it's a fighting type, which is weak to Psychic. And it is a dragon, which, as many of you know, is weak to ice. But we do not know what the Greninja is going to be bringing. But it's good to identify all options, which is why Coridon could be a very good pick here. Pair it well with Fluttermane. Okay, so that was all the best Pokemon that I would recommend, but there is a couple of honorable mentions that I want to go ahead and mention, so I'll just go through them as quick as possible. It is worth mentioning that some of these honorable mentions might be a lot more better than uh, initially thought, such as the Lucario. Uh, but let's go through them one at a time. Uh, Toxapex is very bulky. It gets access to Acid Spray to decrease special defense and Shell and Water to decrease attack if it comes up. Um, Toxicroak is a very, very strong typing. It also gets access to uh, Dry Skin. Uh, so it's really, really good. Also gets access to Sword Stance. Umbreon is very bulky. It's got access to some really good moves. Uh, Berserker is a very good support Pokemon. Uh, Screech, um, Metal Sound, and Helping Hand is very, very strong. Uh, Whiskash gets access to Dragon Dance and Earthquake. Uh, Tauros being Water and Fighting is very, very bulky. Uh, I'll come back to the Lucario. Uh, Baxcalibur is another Pokemon you could consider. Uh, it's probably at the very bottom of my list. Uh, but you get access to Dragon Dance, uh, Source Dance as well. I think it gets a Ground move as well, which is why it's on this list. I might be wrong. I might need to double check it. Uh, but you've also got Roaring Moon as well, which does have access to Dragon Dance and could pair really well with the Coridon and potentially Fluttermane or any other Pokemon on the team that has access to Sunny Day. And one last thing. Uh, yeah, we have the Lucario here. I just realized midway through Lucario had the had the ability uh, Justified. So if Greninja attacks him with a dark move, uh, it will increase the attack stat. Uh, I just realized something that I picked up on in uh, Sword and Shield. If you use the move Beat Up on it or any dark move, uh, Lucario will get a lot more stronger. So in a way, you can provide a buff to your Lucario and it will be able to get stronger and stronger and stronger to do a lot more damage. So it may be something to consider down the line. And that is it, guys. Now, we haven't exactly talked about a uh, strategy on how to beat the Greninja, but all I would really recommend is prepare a one-hit KO with Pokemon like Gallade or Garchomp, uh, or even the Fluttermane. Use moves such as Sword Stance, uh, Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, set, yourself, se set yourselves up really nicely. Have access to moves such as Screech or Acid Spray to decrease the defenses of the Greninja. And if the Greninja does have access to Haze, 
uh, then unfortunately the one hit heal, uh, that's going to have to be non-existent. In which case, you're just going to have to try and consistently decrease the stats and provide support and let Pokemon such as the Garchomp, the Gallade and the Fluttermane just decrease down the HP and even the shields as well. It's definitely going to be the more challenging tower rate events that we've had so far, so we just need to find our strategy. We just need to find it. And once we find our strategy, guys, we'll be able to learn and we'll be able to adapt and we'll be able to perfect it as much as possible. But we'll wait and see what happens. Now, I will be live streaming the Greninja Tower Raid event all over the weekend, so you're all more than welcome to join in. We will all help each other out, we'll all support each other, and we'll make sure that we're all guaranteed to capture this Greninja. And trust me, guys, we missed that out on Sword and Shield, so this is your chance to use it in Scarlet and Violet. But with that, my friends, I want to go ahead and say thank you all so very much for tuning in. Take care of yourself, enjoy the rest of your day, have an awesome weekend when it arrives, and I will see you next time. Thank you, keep your fires burning, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.